Hello everybody and welcome to day number two of live stream soul power videos. <laughs> okay, I already saw ooh, a few thumbs up there. Some people in the chat already. Good evening there, Anne. Ulti Paradox. Hello, hello, welcome. Hello, Depika, you are always there. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Thank you for your beautiful comments. So welcome everybody. I hope you're enjoying these live streams. Um, I think we might need a moderator. Before we start, before we start, who wants to be a moderator? Say me and I will make you a moderator, all right? Because it's very important in case somebody mean and bad comes into the chat to, right? <laughs> so thank you so much. Oh, I see the first person saying me. All right, add moderator. Bone722, Bone722, you are a moderator now, okay? So anything that you perceive negative, a negative vibe, right? We don't want that. It never happens, but anyways. So I hope you're all ready for a powerful day two. You know that we have the spring equinox, right? I better put on my, my little cheap dollar store glasses because I always lose all other glasses. So I can hardly see with these, but I can read. Spring equinox. And I was going to do a channel journey up into the fifth dimension, but I did, my, I did get my passport, by the way. Yes, I did. <laughs> um, but I got a message that there's something really important we need to know right now, right now, today. There's something important that we need to do. And so I want to use the whiteboard again here okay this is going to be a little class with some exercises for you okay so do you want to grab a pen and paper okay because we're going to actually get into doing get i was told we have to get into doing we have to start to take action and work not just consume the media you know it's very easy to just sit there and consume consume all day until your eyes get all square and not do anything right you're sad i know i'm sorry that you are sad if you are feeling the heaviness, if you are experiencing some difficult times. But that's what we're here for, to change how you live, perceive, move, walk in this world of outside influences because you've been told to connect. Thank you. Because we cannot now more than ever, we are realizing on our bodies we cannot control our circumstances, but we can control how we respond and how we slowly build our experience in this world so these circumstances do not affect us anymore. And this is a little bit of a process. Ready with pen and paper? Good. <laughs> All right. So do you want to jump right in? Let's do this. Are we ready? We're going to do it the Palladian way again. Lots of energy. We're going to take action. Um, I love it that you leave your comments. Thank you so much for the ones who participated in the last live stream and gave so many beautiful remedies and ideas. That's really amazing. So everything that you say, your discussion afterwards in the comments, if you have something really important to say is better because not everybody checks the live stream, right? This is a live stream chat. So 54 people in the house. Yes. Leo Kitty. He went outside. He, I just had some downtime with him for about an hour, having a nap on the bed, and Leo was there. He's, he's just so cute. I think they do it on purpose. He was going ah, ah, like this, and then all curled up. They're just too cute to be true. <laughs> all right. So beautiful, lovely, starseed family. We want to empower you, okay? We want to empower you. We want to make sure that we are standing in our power with clear intentions to make the best choices to be able to navigate difficult times, right? Because as an introduction, something that I know, but I was guided to tell you, let me just put this up a little higher so you can see the board better, which may seem a little harsh, all right? But right now, in these times where there is a lot of chaos, right now, you are being shown a mirror. You're being shown a mirror in your experience. How you are experiencing this time is a mirror reflecting to you how you have lived in the past few years. Your soul vibration rate, 
your intentions, your the work that you've been doing, how you have succumbed or not succumbed to circumstances in the past, how much you have empowered yourselves, that is showing up big time now and being, being amplified, right? So even the smaller things that you may have not done so well, the choices you've made that were a little bit negative for yourself, where you've kind of let things go a little bit and said, oh, I'll just go along with it, I'll go along with it, right? All these things are being blown up and amplified right now and showing themselves. So a mirror is held to you by what you experience. And this is really important to understand that you take responsibility for what you are experiencing now, right? It seems a little harsh if you're experiencing difficult things, but I have practiced this in the last few years. Thank you, Georgia, from Georgia. So, in the last few years, every, every time something bad happens, specifically, every time I'm really challenged or, or something happens that's difficult, first of all, of course, there's a little bit of a reaction. Oh, and then I, I go, wait a minute, wait a minute. How do I see myself in this? What part in me is it that triggered this? Why is this showing up for me right now? Where have I been disempowered? So this circumstance shows up for me right now. That's what I've been asking myself. And that's where I look at what I need to heal, what I need to change, right? Well said. So right now, just think for a little bit. Don't think about the news, don't think about anything. Just think about your personal situation. What are you experiencing? How are you experiencing this crisis? Are you truly in a really hard place? You, and I don't mean your family members, you may have people around you where stuff is happening, but you personally, where are you at right now? Are you truly being affected or not? Have you lost job income? Have you, have you been sick? Are you truly inhibited? Are you held back or are you not? And I was thinking about this because for myself, I must say, not because I'm perfect, but this crisis has impacted me in a positive way. My personal life is actually in a better place than it ever was. <sighs> you lost a family member. That is really, really difficult. This is really difficult, right? But like I said, right now is a time to look at, to truly, truly look at where you have done your work, what you have been doing. So I'm gonna to get to the details of this. I'm gonna to get to the details, but like I said, for me personally, I've done so much work to a point of empowerment and empowering myself to be completely, completely um, not, what's the word I'm looking for? <sighs> not dependent on outside circumstances. I have dis I've empowered myself to be independent from outside circumstances that now it is showing. Now I am not affected at all, at all. I'm not affected in any way negatively. It's everything positive. There's maybe for me personally only one negative thing, which is that the local pool is closed and I like to swim, but what is that? That's nothing, right? In all other ways, every single experience I have personally outside when I go somewhere, when I'm doing something, something is really, really, really positive. Right. So specifically, if you're going through a hard time, of course. Right. I tell you that planet Earth, school Earth is not always fair. I'm not saying it's fair. I'm not saying it's easy, but there is a cause and effect and a consequence. And where you hold up this mirror, what's happening you can kind of see where you have been in the past few years. So I'm gonna show you, so, so let's talk about this, okay? Let's talk about this. So, you know the saying, what, what you focus on expands, right? I go further, what you focus on in your life becomes reality. It becomes reality, okay, it does. So think about it. What have you been focusing on? What kind of cycles have you been going through in the last few years up till now? Have you been focusing on loss or sorrow or, or difficult times? Have you been focusing on feeling disempowered? What have you been focusing on? And when stuff like this happens, everything gets amplified. It gets amplified. Everything gets amplified. The good, the bad, and the ugly, right? 
So it turns, it's turning into your reality now. It is. Okay, so I'm saying if you have been working at empowerment, at really working on your life on at every level, raising your vibration, really working on focusing and manifesting positive things, living with clear intentions and attaining those, then that will be amplified now and your reality will be good. Okay, do you see what I'm getting at? All right, do you see what I'm getting at? Does that make sense, guys? So to continue here, the focus. So there is one thing that comes before this, okay? And this is something that most of us don't even do. This is intention. We have to have a clear intention. That is the base of everything. If I ask you now, guys, okay, it's like the law of attraction. The law of attraction is, is the base of everything, yes. Okay, quick question. <laughs> what is your intention? Can you answer that in a second? What is your intention right now on a larger scale and maybe on a smaller scale? Can you answer that in a second? What is your intention? Can you? Let me see if I can answer it. <laughs> okay. Now, my intention on a global scale is to live my highest, most aligned timeline, to live my divine self-expression, to be a light worker, right? To help Mother Gaia ascend, right? That is my intention. That's pretty clear. Right now, what is my intention in this moment? Again, to live my highest timeline, to be happy and blissful and abundant in every moment, right? That, it's, a pretty, it's simple, it doesn't have to be super complicated. And my intention right now is to have a peaceful heart, okay? So that intention has to be clear, to fight for the equality of all species. Good, so why don't you write down now what your intention is, if you can think about it. Write down what your intention is, okay? So the bigger intention and the smaller intention. Now, this intention statement, if you have it, if you, you, you truly know what you truly want, and this is sometimes different from what we're thinking of, right? Yes, we're live! <laughs> what your intention is sometimes gets lost. Yes, maybe once a year, okay, I have an intention, and then you get lost in the struggle of life. But this is what you actually have to live with, breathe with, and uphold every single day. Now, to this intention statement, to this intention statement, let, let me write my intention statement. Um, let's write it down, guys, okay? Let me see. My larger intention, live my highest timeline. That means my best life possible, right? And help Gaia ascend as a light worker. Pretty simple, right? There's lots more in that. that. There's lots more in that. And right now, my intention, obviously, as a light worker, for myself, my intention to feel peace to feel peace, joy, bliss, magic in the moment, right? So pretty simple, right? I could have a really convoluted, more professional um, sentence, but I want you to do this. Now, this is what you have to uphold every single day. Every single day, you have to uphold this. And every choice you make, every focus, you put out there should reflect this. How many times do you have that intention in mind? How many times are you truly aware of what you're doing? You're not just randomly going, okay, like this looks interesting, I'll go here. The problem is if we forget this, if we forget what our intention in life is, or if we don't even have one, maybe we made one two years ago, we forgot. What happens then? Then we don't know what to focus on. Then it becomes random right? And, th and that's the light worker thing where you say, oh, I'm just going to see what the universe brings me. Oh, just trust in the universe to bring me the best. Who is the universe? Who is it? <laughs> what is the universe, right? If you say that, if you just completely open, oh, I'll see what the universe brings me. I know around the next corner is the best thing. 
The problem is you can only do that if you're in such a high vibration and everything is going well for you and you are a manifesting beast, a fifth dimensional manifesting beast, <laughs> then you can do that because everything that comes will be in your best interest. But are you there yet? Are you in the perfect place of empowerment? If you're not, don't say, oh, I'll just think what the universe brings me. No, no, no. You gotta be like, you gotta be like a fighter. You gotta be someone who has such a clear intention and make choices every day regarding that. And to just receive, exactly. Just receive, no, don't just receive because you know what can happen then? Then if you're a little bit low or if you are not completely aligned or if stuff like this happens, what will come to you? The, you, the universe will bring you very negative things, right? If you're just open to, okay, I'll just see what the universe brings, it can bring you a lot of bad stuff. It can bring you disempowerment. It can bring you negative entities. It can bring you all kinds of stuff. So don't be open to just whatever comes. You have to have a clear intention. You've got to be intentional. So create your intention now, right? Even if you're not in a place of fear, not, no. Recently, recently, I got a psychic attack again, again. And I'm, and for me, I don't know what fear is. I said that in the last video. Fear doesn't work for me. Other stuff does, but fear, I have 0% fear. So all, all this fear is like, I don't understand what fear is. Fear maybe flows through me in a second, right? like a shock, but um, <clears throat> you don't have to be in a state of fear. You just have to be in a state of non-intention. If you're in a state of non-intention, then anything can come in and you, you're not discerning. You don't know what to focus on. You say, the universe will bring me something good. Oh, maybe this is good or maybe this is good. And then things can start to spiral downward and you can get caught up in negativity very, very easily. And that's what I'm trying to say. So. You've written your intention, everybody. Have you written your intention? Now, write one emotion that you want to feel with that intention. What do I want to feel at the moment? I think I want, <laughs> I want peace, right? Peace is important. Usually, usually what I choose is bliss or joy or magic. Those are my three things that I usually choose. But right now it's peace because even I was caught up a little bit, right? I was caught up a little bit in what's going on. And the thing is this, if you don't have a clear intention, you know that we are 3D, 5D, I always talk about this, we are now slowly ascending. And where do you think this virus is? This virus is here, obviously, right? And those who are going up, this is like, ooh, ooh, this wants to pull us down again with everything that's happening. And if in the last few years, your work that you have been doing has not been very intentional, then it, it's like you're going la la la, la la la, la la la, right? You haven't been able to do your work and create a strong foundation in that 5D timeline in new earth, right? Watch, watch the video I did about the coronavirus if you haven't, because we are ascending, but we are in the wobble. And the virus is one of those 3D realities. It is real, I know realities that if you have not built a very very strong foundation if you have not done your work of empowerment of truly going up to 5d which means not being susceptible to circumstances remember creating this 5d bubble around you in the 3d chaos right creating a stronghold of empowerment a, a, you know shining your light out so strong that nothing can touch you, right? So this, if you haven't done this, then you'll be like, boom, this will pull you right back down to bottom line, to bottom line, right? Either physically or mentally, okay? Does that make sense? Physically or mentally. So that's why your intention needs to be created now, right? And, and right now, spring equinox is a perfect time to do this. It's another shift. We're going into the shift of being able to create new things. Spring, what do you want to plant? Right now, you've got to plant the seed. So ask yourself, what, you, what are you experiencing? What is your real experience around you? Like I said in the beginning, real experience. 
What is it? Right? The question is, what it is if it's bad, if it's traumatic, trauma, if it's fear, do you want to experience this? Is this your intention? Is it? It's, is it your intention to experience this? Maybe yes. You know, a lot of people are caught up in the, in the drama, in the fear. It's addictive. You're saying, no, that's good, <laughs> right? The drama is addictive, and I'm going to come to that later. Drama, oh, we can rile ourselves up on it. We can like, oh, you know, yes, this is happening. Finally, we have a reason to rant and rave. Like, has anyone said in your family, perhaps, like, I told you this was going to happen. The world is going to crap. Yes, I knew this was going to happen. And they start ranting and raving, and it's an addiction. How many of you take a look at the news every day and kind of go, brr, brr, like, consuming, consuming? It, it's an addiction. It's very addictive, right? It is addictive. So be aware of it, that what you are consuming in social media, everything that you're focusing on becomes your reality even more, right? And the thing is, if you say, but it is real, it is real. Okay, you're, let's say the real experience is this. If you do not want it, but you keep like that keeps you in a loop, you're experiencing trauma, bad things have happened, then you lose your intention, you get caught up in this loop. You get caught up in this loop. You bypass your intention. You're like, oh, oh no, this is what I'm being told to focus on. The news is saying this. You know, stuff is happening in my family. This is my reality. This is my real experience. And you bypass this whole thing. And you become powerless. Like it's a spiral. It's a spiral like this. And you never have the opportunity to kind of step back and say, wait a minute. I can create my reality. I am the powerful creator of my reality and I can change and shift now. I can make the shift now, okay? So that is really, really important that no matter where you're at at this place, right? You can always start to create change by saying, okay, do I want this? I'm experiencing this. I don't want it. So I'm going to set a different intention for myself. I'm going to uphold my vision. This is my vision. I'm upholding my vision. So what am I going to do now? I'm going to focus exactly on my vision. So this is where you have to discern. You have to start to discern what you're looking at. Most of us don't discern. Whatever comes in, we take it. You have to be very, very discerning. Okay? So whatever you open on YouTube, you have a lot of power what you look at. Right? Whatever you're looking at, the news, people's texts, people talking to you, you have to start asking yourself, is this aligned with my intention or is this aligned with my reality, which is bad? What is it aligned to? And what am I going to perpetuate longer and longer and more and more and make more and more real? I understand if you are having a tough time and if, you know, if things are bad, I, I totally get it that it is the reality, but then you can get yourself sucked into it that you lose any kind of vision or intention and you say, you see, I can't do anything anyways. And you're just randomly pulled and pulled into the spiral of whatever is going on, right? So that is really, really important. So how do you discern? And I've, I've learned this <laughs> and it's funny. I learned this with emails, how to discern, you know? A lot of people send me emails, right? Natasha, um, like I wanna do a session, perfect. And sometimes I receive emails from my viewers, Natasha, help, I'm in this horrible state. This is like, my life is terrible, please help me. And I get emails like this, long, 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 long. And in the beginning I was like, wow, I wanna help. And I wrote them back and I offered free sessions and all this. In the end, it always turned out bad. It always turned out bad. I already had this feeling of, oh, oh this is, oh, I feel bad, I feel bad. And it always turned out negative, always. It always turned out that that person was a negative soul or a soul that really couldn't transform or that pulled me in somehow or that some kind of drama happened, something happened. So I learned to discern. <laughs> Natasha, help, my life is amazing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's so funny. <coughs> so, so... <laughs> You guys are great. You guys are great. So <clears throat> in the end, I learned to feel into it. So you got you to gotta do this, okay? If you see something pop up, an email, 
a piece of news media, a YouTube video, don't just click on it as a reaction because are you reacting just because it looks kind of fun or looks kind of interesting or you're feeding into an addiction? You know, sometimes, you know, horror scenarios or movies that are a little bit like, hey, 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 you know, a little bit evil and interesting. You feed into that. Why are you choosing that? So you have to stop and feel into it. Kind of like, hmm, I'm going to feel into it. I'm going to ping into it. I'm going to just go, nying, nying, right? I'm going to ping my energy into it. I'm going to go, mm, bing. You can do that with your intention. So you kind of look at it and you feel into the future timeline or into the depth of it. So this is what I did with emails, right? <laughs> this is what I did. Crystals that are good to have. Um, oh, you could do it with a crystal, of course. Take a look at this. <clears throat> this is the one I always use, right? Amethyst. <coughs> it's like an amethyst spear. So you can take a crystal <laughs> if you want or anything and, and you can go... Okay, let's see, you have a couple of emails, you have not opened them. So I go, bing, bing, and then I get an instant feeling of, ah, no. You know what I do? I delete that freaking email and I don't even open it. I got a negative ping, bang, it's gone, right? So <laughs> that's how discerning you have to be. It's gone, it's gone. So with the news media, I was doing the same thing. I was scrolling, I have this little app little news app and I almost never look into the news but I did recently and I was scrolling through it and I was kind of going ping ping yes no yes no and sometimes I got a no and I opened it and it always took me to a place I didn't want to go it always made me feel bad it was superfluous I did not need to know that information I didn't need to know that information what what is it good for was it helping with with my intention to live my highest timeline no was it taking me to some really horrible scenarios of 3D where I was kind of caught in my mind here? Eh, 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 eh. Yes. Was it helping me to visualize this? No. So you have to discern. Sometimes you need to know something that's negative, but you will know, right? So sometimes you will look at something. Okay, inform yourself. Usually with the news app, I just open the app. I don't open the articles. I go, I go like this, boom, close it. Open scan close that's it that's all i need right and usually just seeing the title of whatever there is will give me the the information that i need from it okay <laughs> ignore your mother completely sadly um we have to sometimes do that and right now we have to discern people media we have to discern exactly and that is so important you have to discern the focus because what you focus on is becoming reality now what you have focused on in the last let's say let's let's say a couple of years let's say one year okay is your reality those who have not done any work what they have focused on their whole life becomes is still reality because they haven't done any work so if you're not awake and your whole life has been kind of like pretty random you just kind of take in whatever comes you're completely susceptible to the circumstances you get a job you're you're fired you're not independent of your circumstances at all then that's becoming your reality big time now right so if you start doing your work it takes a little while to change your reality it takes okay i've done this over my life okay so in the last year let's say in the last six months in the last six months is when my, my own transformation has been the greatest. I've done so much work, really conscious work in the last six months to refine my intention, right? To get more aligned to my soul, to get more aligned, to refine what I want. I want this. I want this. And I've done so much work, you know, channeling 5D, talking to angels, my galactic team, working every day with you, <laughs> working every day with you, channeling planets, higher dimensions. This has been my focus. And that has caused me to be able to be in the eye of the storm, right? The eye of the storm, to, to go beyond, to jump beyond this. So no matter where you are, even if you are here, if you are here, you have to stop. You have to stop and say, do I want this? Do I want my reality? 
Do I want the mirror? Do I like what I'm seeing? If the answer is no or partially no, you say, okay, I'm going to focus and intend something different. Because, you know, the human is, is so powerful. We are so freaking powerful. We are. And we're not just humans. You who are watching, you are star seeds, right? You have come from higher dimensions. You have lived in dimensions where manifestation is instant. And you have to remember that. So you have to create your intention, what you want now, and every day go there. Every day go there. Focus, 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 focus on the positive. Focus on 5D. Focus on what your dream is, what your vision is. You want abundance? Focus on abundance. You want a nice house? Visualize a nice house. You want new earth? Visualize what new earth will be like. And that way you will pull it to you. What you focus on, you will pull to you slowly, little by little. And then the traumatic events, the reality will start dissipating. This, I speak from experience. This is what's happening in my life. Why am I now experiencing this in such a positive way? I went to Victoria two days ago to get my passport, right? And I was like, oh, I'm going to have fun anyways, because I, I know everything is good for me. I went down there. The city was almost empty. I went to the passport office. They, they said, no, you can't get your passport. And I told my story. And after a while, they said, OK, and they gave me the passport. I have a 10 year valid passport. So this was a really positive experience. I, w I went outside. Everything that I wanted to do that day really, really worked. I got some tea in a store, the last store that was open. I got this, you see, I got this beautiful teapot here. <laughs> this one with some really special teas and some nice, like this nice thing to put a candle on it. Um, I went shopping at Costco, which I hadn't been in for about a year. I thought I'd pop by. It was the best experience. No randalizing, no nothing, right? So for me, because I have worked, no, they haven't taken my passport. It just needed to be renewed because it was expired. It was expiring. That's the thing. That's why I had to get a new one so I can travel. So every experience for me in the worst adversities is always good. So everything that happens on the outside that's bad, somehow it, it it's my advantage. Somehow it comes to my advantage. But not because I'm special. Because It's because I've done my work in the last few years done my work, done my work, right? Intention. I am so intentional. Nothing is random. So you have to be intentional. You have to uphold your intention, what you want, your wish, your desire, your dream. You got to be like, I want this, damn it. I want this. I'm going to work for this. I'm going to take inspired action every day consistently, right? And the intention is not enough. The intention has to be followed up by action. So those people who say, oh, you have to like set it and forget it. I don't believe in that either. I don't believe in that. Set it and forget it is if you're already at such a high level where everything manifests instantly, where things are just perfect and flowing anyways. How many of you are in the perfect situation? How many of you have done set it and forget it? And it's like, it's worked perfectly. <laughs> you have to take consistent positive action aligned to your intention and not let up not let up and this is what i'm doing every day and i'm going to i'm going to show you a little example okay here i've got let's see how could we do this i hope this is making sense <laughs> okay i'm gonna okay let's do this example here i'm gonna take the camera and i'm gonna go like this okay let's see we've got to turn how can we turn this around yes look at this this is my computer. This is um, Prime Video, right? Prime, Amazon Prime. I get this because I order stuff, so I have Prime anyways. So this is what I do. For example, I don't really have time to watch movies. Once in a while, I'll watch a movie, and this is how I do it. I look at it, and I know what my intention is. My intention, I know that I want peace. I want to move forward. I want to learn. Or maybe in that moment, I want to be relaxed, but in a positive way. So what do I do? This movie here, I look at it. It's like, no, it looks creepy. Killer man. No, thank you. Okay, what's the next one? This one. Okay, looks a little bit silly, funny. Maybe, maybe. 
in the moment, that may be fun. I know it's not going to traumatize me. I'm going to laugh. I kind of like Julia Roberts, so that will be okay, I think. That will be okay, right? This one, oh, no. Look at this. Look at this cross here. Only this, the cross turned upside down. This is, there's going to be some demonic negative stuff, so no thank you. Now, I made a mistake with this one. I made a mistake, guys, because I like science fiction. I'm a sci-fi, I'm a Star Trek fan. I'm, I'm all of that, right? Obviously, sci-fi, anything to do with, with fantasy, Lord of the Rings, sci-fi is what I love. So I looked at this, I thought, ooh, this is interesting. But look at this, look at, look at him, look at the whole vibe. Look at that vibe. And I kind of knew, nah, I kind of knew, oh, one second. <laughs> Okay, let's go back. I touched the screen or something. Where did it go? Here, here. So I'll, I'll just open this. Okay, so I started to watch this movie, even though my impulse said no. I said no. Uh, 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 uh. I watched it for a while, and it was like I started, I started feeling a bit bad, and I was like, no. And halfway through, I had to turn it off because it got me into such a horrible apocalyptic kind of vision energy. It was horrible. Like, it was like, no, no, no. So, so I'm like, I knew it. I knew it. This is no good. What about this? Next one? Nah, I don't really want to watch this. Okay. <laughs> so let's see what else is there. Ooh, alien code. Now, hmm, this looks interesting, but I don't know. It looks a little too dark. It looks a little too dark, so I think no. This one, uh, I don't think so either. This one, yes. I think I would watch this one. Like, I cannot resist fantasy. It doesn't look too dark. There are some dragons there, so hmm. I think I could handle this one. <laughs> That's my intuition. I could handle this one. You know, a little bit of violence and this and that. Okay, it's not too bad. Ooh, this one looks interesting too. <laughs> oh, one second. Oh, let's see this one. I think so. I think that will be pretty cool. Like fairy tale? Yes. Fairy tale? Yes. Okay, so do you guys see? Do you guys see what I'm what I'm doing? It's funny. If you just look at the picture, at the title, just the whole vibe, it's got to tell you. It's going to tell you, right? And I just did that to explain. So for me, I automatically ping already. So if you're not sure, just ping into it. Go zzzm. Remember the pinging. And even if you get a phone call, if a friend wants to talk, you can already, when the friend says, oh, hello, you can already gauge if it's going to be a conversation that you want or not. If you're talking to your family, anything like that, gauge it, gauge it and see if it's what you want to focus on and if it is aligned with your intention, right? And, and usually, I mean, in good times, when everything's going really well, you can let up a little bit. But right now, right now, where things have <sighs> exorbitated themselves, right now in this time of difficulties, it looks like <laughs> I feel that everything that you are doing will be amplified. Everything you have done in the last year is amplified now as a mirror, and all the choices you make now will be amplified, right? <laughs> I don't know that I've had my Kundalini awakening. I don't think I have. I don't think I've had it. You're right. <laughs> have I? I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. That's funny. You guys are so funny. <laughs> All right. So, so the message is, don't let up now. Don't let up, okay? The laws of cause and effect, right? The law of attraction, the laws of karma are boom, they're hitting us right now because our world is going through a little bit of a dark night of the soul as a collective. The collective is going through dark night of the soul and you can be part of it or you cannot not be part of it. And right now is the time where you have to make a choice. What is your reality? What do you want your reality to, reality to be in the future? right? It's so important. It's so important. So don't let up. Like every day you wake up and it's like, oh, what's on the news? What, what are we doing? It's like, <gasps> right? This feeling. No, just say, stop. What's my intention? And now if you have been laid off work and if stuff is happening, it's time to 
rethink your intention. And I, I told you to get pen and paper. Work out your intention now, right? Your greater intention and your intention in the moment. Do that. And then choosing your best timeline, yes. And then operate on that intention and just test it in the next few days. When you turn on your computer, when you look at your phone, scrolling, doing whatever, it's like, okay, what am I doing right now? Is this aligned with my intention? Or not? Am I just kind of letting myself go? Am I just scrolling? Am I doing it because of some addiction? Right? And that's not good because the problem is, <laughs> the problem is, you know what the problem is? That if you are random, you're easily controlled, you're easily taken over, you can easily have entities attached because you don't have your focus and your intention, right? So many people have entities attached. Right now is the time where these little buggers are gonna go, hey, 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 everybody is in fear, everybody's confused. Maybe we can kind of wheedle our ways in there because they're not paying attention. Everyone's going, ah, right? People who are usually high vibe and completely fearless, right now they're like, oh, oh, we're thrown off and we're letting ourselves be, in that cycle, in that negative cycle. So they're like, mm, they attach, right? Like I said, the other day it happened to me. <laughs> it happened to me. Do you want to know the story or is it the video is getting too long? I wanted to do short videos. Oh my goodness. <sighs> do you want to know the story now? Real quick? Should I tell you the story? It's really stupid. <laughs> so story. All right. Quick story. Very quick story. I was at the pool just before it closed. And I was like, I'm a powerful person. And I was like very kind of sure of myself, like a typical Pleiadian is, nothing can touch me, you know. And there was this person in the pool that I'd seen a few times. And this was a draconian soul. It was a draconian soul, I knew it. This was a predator, a predator. Like, I, if, you, if you see a person who's like, like really muscular, really confident. And his face, his face, the eyes. This was a draconian soul, 100%. You know that I know, I know, I know starseeds when I see them. Like when I focus on it, I can tell. Not always, but I can tell. And I knew this was a draconian soul. And I'd been in the sauna a few times with that person. And I felt like my hackles go up. But I was like, and the person left really fast, left really fast, like perfect physical form. But you know, when people walk, like he was walking like this, like, right? Like a predator, oh my God. And I was like, oh, right? But me fearless as I am, I saw this person a few times and I was like, okay, okay. I want to check in the Akashic records afterwards, when I get home, if it truly is a draconian. Maybe I'm just making it all up, right? <laughs> I still think that sometimes. Maybe I'm making it up. This is crazy. <sighs> so, what did I do? When the person was leaving, I sent an energetic stream out like this. And I got his energetic signature. I grabbed his energetic signature. I did this, okay? I went home and I checked in. I checked in, a spy. I <laughs> it's terrible, I know, it's terrible, it's terrible, but you know. <coughs> so I was like, hmm, going into the Akashic Records, channeling, going into the fourth dimensional aspect, which is a public aspect. And I, I did all the work and I'm like, yes. Draconian, yes, negative soul. I just wanted to know that. So, you know what happened that night? That, ni that night, I got the most horrible nightmare I've ever had. Oh my God, I had a nightmare and I don't get nightmares and this was not my dream. This was not my dream. This was something else. It was horrifying. It was, I would never think of such things. And I woke up, <gasps> In the middle of the night and I was like what was that and instantly I knew this was 
one of those little buggers I just drew. What are these? This was a demon, an entity that got in because I reached out to get his energy signature. I reached out to him and I was like, right? It was really stupid of me. I don't know why I thought I could do that. That was not his energy. That was an entity that was around him. And that day I found out a technology of the draconian soul groups. He wasn't even aware of it. He wasn't aware, I'm sure. He was just, he didn't remember. He was just a draconian soul living his life. But I have figured out one of their technologies, which is when you open yourself up to them, they have little entities and they go, hey. So because I opened myself up and I reached out to get his energetic connection, I connected to him and this little demon woo, 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 came along and saw me, became aware of me. And because I'd opened myself up, it came into my dream and that's how it showed itself. And I knew this, I swear, I swear guys, I've worked with this stuff. I've worked with this stuff for so long. I knew it and I was like, wow, because this dream was horrible. And I, I jumped up, it was like 4 a.m., 4 a.m. I came into my office here and I was like, okay, what is this? And I confirmed and I, I threw that bugger out. I, I kicked him out so fast, so far. I was like, boom. So that was gone and it never came back. But this, this was me just like dropping my intention to be a light worker, live my highest timeline, letting myself get curious and pulled down into this curiosity, into this thing, right? So that's why I'm saying these buggers are there to kind of come in whenever you do something, especially if you're in a negative. I wasn't in a negative mindset. This is a different example of me doing something to let this bugger attach and get in. It was horrifying, horrifying. Oh my God. And the thing is, a lot of you are saying, a lot of you are saying protection. So this is, guys, this is actually, this is material for another video. I will make another video, but since you're here, I'm going to tell you something, okay? How can you release these entities? You just tell them to go. You are a powerful creator. If you say, ooh, entity, you call in your angels. If you don't know how or who to call, call in Archangel Michael and say, Archangel Michael, I ask you to help me to kick this entity out. How do I kick him out? Well, <clears throat> you know, I have my <laughs> I have my methods in the Akashic Records. I learned this. I have a whole a whole process. But you don't have to have this process. All you have to do is I do not allow you to be in my field anymore. You can say thank you for giving me this lesson. That's what I said. I said thank you for showing me a, a lesson. You are here now. You are no longer needed, be gone. That's it. That's all you have to do. Ask Archangel Michael to protect you and to take, take this entity away, right? That's what I did. And the way I protect myself, I found out that day, I, I was confirmed, I confirmed that day how I actually, I'm on YouTube talking about this stuff. I make, make videos about it, the draconians. How do I protect myself also when I'm working? This is, this is how I protect myself. Do you wanna know? <laughs> this is how you can protect yourself too. And this is really cool, this is so cool. All right, I am shining my light so brilliantly strong that negative souls are blinded and they don't see me. That's the protection. It's like the headlights and the deer, they go oh, and they go away, right? They just see it's such a brilliant light and they're blinded, they're like, blinded by the light, right? Like, okay, no, no, it hurts them. It hurts their eyes. They don't see me. It's just a brilliant light. And then they get, they go. They don't see me. They don't even want to. Like, why would they want to, why would they want to go towards a brilliant light that's blinding them? It hurts them. So they leave. But because I reached out, I kind of let down my guard. And, and this person went along the stream of my connection through or around the light and saw me like, ooh, look at this, a juicy little light worker. Let's, let's, let's get in. She opened herself up. And when you do this, when you are negative, bad trauma, fear, what do you think happens? You dim your light. You dim your light. 
When you dim your light, you no longer blind them. They see you. They're like, oh, look at this. This is someone who's dimmed their light with nice, juicy energy to attach to. And that's how they can take over. That's all it is, right? Does that make sense? So blind them with your light. <sighs> Be brilliant. Why do you think I always put out these meditations to bathe yourself in light, to bring down the light codes. If you bring down the light codes, you have so much light in you that you shine it that the negatives can't see you. And that's, and I knew that day, it, it all came to me, that's how it works. I kind of knew it before, but it was confirmed. I channeled this, that shine your brilliant light, don't let it down. Don't let the negativity and the fear and everything dim your light. And I never have my light dimmed. I'm always like, so they're just like, vroom, 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 vroom. I feel I can walk in a ho I can walk in a big, great feeding hall of demons. What's gonna happen? They're just gonna go, oh, this light here. Oh, oh, okay. I just walk right through, right? So that's how it works. That's how it works. So, so this was a long one. I was gonna do short ones, but. <laughs> These live streams, you guys kind of push me to talk more and more. So, manifesting queen, yes. Live meditation. Of course, I had a live meditation planned. Um, but I'm not going to plan anything in the future because I don't, know, I don't know how it will work out and the messages that I will get. So, we will, I don't know what we'll do tomorrow. I will tune in again live tomorrow and I did have actually something planned. Just to be enticing to you guys, I had something planned. And yesterday when I was falling asleep, I actually had a vision and something beautiful came through. And I wanted to do this today, but I got this other, other message. I always get so many impulses that sometimes, Isha, thank you. <laughs> the Disney movies, yes. Um, that sometimes it's hard to choose. So perhaps tomorrow we will do that journey. Remember I was talking about a journey? We're going to do many journeys. I got, I'm, I'm going to tell you, okay. I can never hold in these ideas. Okay, so from 3D to 5D, we're going to make a lot of journeys. Take journeys to 5D because 5D is a beautiful place. There's many beautiful things in 5D. The angels are there. The guides are there. The Akashic records are there. New Earth is there. Would you like to take a trip to New Earth so you can truly have your intention and your vision and your focus so whenever this 3D Earth is horrible, you can visualize New Earth and be there? What do you think of that? Okay, we'll do all that. We'll do all that. So we'll do all that in these, in these live streams. So, <clears throat> yes, I think... We've talked about everything today, and I really hope that you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed this live stream. Thank you so much. I have a link below if you wish to donate. <clears throat> um, a lot of people are saying, we want to donate. So I put a link below if you'd like to do that. Also, um, this Sunday, I'll be opening my shop for new readings. Not so many this week. I have so many readings. I'm a bit exhausted. <laughs> I've done a lot of readings with a lot of you. So I'm going to open my shop on Sunday at 1 p.m. if you guys are interested. There's also a video about how I do readings in my shop. The link is below. It's really interesting, really, really cool. So yeah, just so you know, the first people who get in, get in. Every Sunday I open it, right? Like the video, yes, of course, like the video. And if you're new, subscribe and hit the notification bell. You know about that, right? So little bell, you hit it, you put all notifications so you're notified because I can never know when I'm going live a long time beforehand. So if you wanna be part of these live streams, please hit the notification bell or subscribe to Instagram. Did you guys know I'm on Instagram now? Yay, I'm starting to do more posts and I usually will post a few minutes beforehand on Instagram before I go live, right? So <coughs> again, lots of love to you healing energy, healing energy to you. And Alicia, um, no, Ayalyn, Ayalyn, can you send me an email, please? <laughs> Ayalyn, okay, send me an email. My emails always go down because, are you still there, Ayalyn? 
because I'd like to talk to you a little bit, okay? All right, you do not use any other platform, that's fine. Um, if you do get the notifications, because usually a few minutes before I go live, I will um, put it out there as a timed thing. So you will see going live in 10 minutes, going live in 20 minutes. So that's what we'll do. Okay, so I love you all. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um, hopefully I'll see you again tomorrow. And I wish you a wonderful, wonderful spring equinox, right? Set your intentions, write it on a big piece of paper, slap it on the wall, write it on the mirror, and uphold that intention. And practice your discernment, what you want to watch or not, okay? All right. Yes, thank you so much. Love you all. Bye for now. Adios.